Welcome to episode 1161, Torbjörg Tonquist, Swedish billionaire who got rich from Russian oil. This is an outline of episode 1161. I think that uh, is that the most important factor for the, uh, for the uh, oil industry or where the oil price is today. I, I, I still think that the situation is, uh, is more that we, 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 it's a supply actually rather than demand more, even though, I mean, we don't remember six, seven years ago, the, the industry needed $90 to break even. Uh, three, four years, two years ago, we talked about $60, and now you talk about $50. And I think it's, uh, and we, I've heard it here, and, uh, and, and, and this industry is fantastic innovative. The technological breakthrough is really a high-tech industry now, and that drives break-even costs down. For, then you're going to have fluctuations, and what is that balancing price? To me, it's clear. It's going over time, it's going lower rather than higher. Born in Stockholm, Sweden in 1953, he graduated from Stockholm University with a degree in business administration. Began his career at British Petroleum, where he worked from 1977 to 1983. Then he became head of oil trading at Scandinavian Trading Company until 1989. In 2000, Tonkis co-founded Gunwar Group with Kennedy Timchenko in Geneva, Switzerland. The two made a fortune trading Russian oil and building Russian refineries. In 2021, Timchenko is one of the richest men in Russia with a net worth of $26 billion for Timchenko. Please watch episode 1149 and 1150 of this channel. The U.S. sanction and the fire sale in March 2014, just one day before the imposition of U.S. sanctions, he sold Gunwa Group, Cyprus-based oil trader, to his partner Tonkis for a reported sum of $2 billion. Tonkis is Swedish. X the one billion dollar dividend payout in 2015 after he sold off the bulk of his Russian assets to avoid U.S. sanctions. Onkis competing for the American Cup in 2017. Bjorn Tornqvist and the Swedish team. It was great. You know, I came here windy, doing foiling for the first time, and uh, it's fast. It's really fast and uh, it's a new experience. And we actually made uh, some kind of record today as well. Artemis has spent more than $100 million to bring in a new generation of designers and engineers and a software company to help redesign the foils that lift the boat into the air. 20. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe and leave your questions and comments below. My next video will be Torbjörn Tonquist. Eight lessons. Wishing everyone peace and prosperity.